There is always so much discussion in cybersecurity about whether or not you should pursue certificates or pursue a formal education. Of course, the answer is that it always depends. It depends on how far you want to go, where you want to go, where you are now, and a lot of it depends on what kind of learner you are. Do you have the self-discipline to teach yourself these things, or do you thrive off of being in a classroom environment? The thought occurred to me, as most thoughts occur to people now, in quarantine, and my fiancé and I were sitting on the couch reflecting on the year. I was finding myself with a lot of extra time since I was working from home and no longer had to take the hour commute to and from work every day. I'm a very goal-oriented and ambitious person, and I thrive off of fast-paced environments where I'm constantly learning new things. And until that point, I was just trying to get into IT and trying to land a job in IT. When I originally went to college, I was focusing on criminal justice because in that time, that was what my passion was. That is what I saw myself doing. But as I learned more about my passion for computers and began harnessing that passion, I switched over to computer science, knowing that that's what I was going to want to do going forward. But since I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, I just switched to doing an associate's degree so that I would save myself time and money until I could figure out what that was. Then I ended up landing a job at a courthouse, not doing anything related to computer science and not really anything related to criminal justice. I was just really a clerk. But it was there that I learned about my passion for project management and how I loved streamlining processes and I love using computer programs to do that for me. I learned how to create technical documentation and training material for the new people coming into our systems and I realized I wanted to do that more and I, I wanted to begin to find my journey into tech. And then I stumbled upon an ethical hacking course by Zaid Security on Udemy and I was hooked. I mean, talk about bringing the elements of criminal justice and computers together. It was like cybersecurity was the one field that was kind of a spotlight for, for what that is. And from that point on, I knew that that was the direction I wanted to go in. I started collecting as many books as I could on ethical hacking, pen testing, and just became obsessed with the content. I decided my next step was to get my Security Plus certification because I knew if I could get my Sec Plus, I could then get an entry level job into IT. And that was February of 2019. I studied for a whole month, got certified in March, and started applying immediately for jobs. And it wasn't security jobs, it was just tech jobs. Anything I could get. I had already had a foot in the door for having a government job that I just started looking for other government jobs that were in the tech field. Funny because the job I ended up getting was the first job I applied for after getting certified. It took three months of an application process to go from applying to being hired. And a majority of that time, I had not heard a word from the employer. Now, there I was on my couch a year later in June, August approaching and COVID still in full swing. And while I have learned so much from this new job in the last year of working there and still continue to learn every day, I started getting this unquenchable thirst for more, for my next step. Again, that, that itch that I just needed to go to my next thing and start working on my next thing. Now, I'm not someone who thinks that college is for everyone. In fact, there was a part of me that didn't know that I would be going back to school ever. And yet there was another part of me that always felt like I should get my bachelor's. And even if it was just to check a box, it was just something I wanted to get done. My fiance and I talked about what it would look like if I picked up some classes on the side and it's not an easy decision to make because we're getting married in October of 2021 and getting new student loans is kind of undesirable. But eventually we agreed that it was a great time to look into it and get the ball rolling if it's something I wanted to do since I had extra time. I did my research into universities right away. I knew two things. I wanted a completely online school and I wanted to get my bachelor's in cybersecurity. WGU eventually popped up on my radar as schools that fit my criteria and it really stood out to me because by the end of the degree, I would have 12 industry certifications and I could do it all at my own pace. I reached out to their missions team and ended up finding more about their mentorship program and scholarship program. And at that point, I kind of decided that this was where I wanted to do my next, my next step and start on my degree. At first, I was really nervous about going back to school and what that would look like, but I had a ton of support from my family and friends, so overall, I went into it pretty mentally prepped for the process. 
Now I've been in the program for about three months now. I have finished three classes and I have an exam next Friday to determine whether or not I finished a fourth one. I have already managed to get my IDLE version 4 foundation and I am halfway through the CompTIA A+. My goal is to finish nine classes before March as that is when my official first term will have ended. So far I have really enjoyed the way WGU has their program set up. I really enjoy being able to go through class as quickly or as slowly as I need to. There was a point about a month ago where I broke my foot and I didn't have the ability to do everything I needed to do in a day, so the ability to put school aside and not feel like I was getting behind was something my mental health really needed during that time. I've got to say, as a disclaimer, I am a little disappointed with the mentorship part of the program because it was something that was a huge draw into the program for me, and I guess I was just expecting more than a once a week, five minute phone call, if that, with my mentor. Don't get me wrong, she's extremely nice and reachable, but I wouldn't call the role a mentor, but more of a chaperone that's making sure I'm still breathing. And maybe it's because I'm pretty low maintenance when it comes to my studies, but I just wouldn't say the mentorship program really left that big of an impression on me. Most of the course material has been really useful, and one of the biggest features that I like is the course chatter where you can talk to other people who are going through the same class about the resources that they're using to help them with their studies. For example, a lot of people recommend Professor Messer or Dion trainings for your A plus studies, and I tend to agree with them as someone who used those things for my A plus studies. I would say there are some classes where the course material provided was more than enough, but I felt more confident using a lot of external resources additionally so that I was more confident going into my studies. I would say if you're looking for my biggest takeaways from my first three months of doing the program, maybe you're wondering if this program is right for you, here's what I would suggest. If you have self-discipline and are looking for structure in your curriculum and your studies, this is a great option for you. It's been a great option for me and I would consider myself both really self-disciplined and I went into it wanting to have structure. Like I said, I'm really enjoying the program so far and I love the pacing of it and if this is something where you know that you can sit down and do it, you don't need anyone to hold your hand, then by all means, do it. Looking into the next three months, I'm hoping to get my A plus done by next week so that way I can have all the introductory courses on IT done and out of the way and I can start looking at the cybersecurity side of things which will be super fun and I'm super excited for. I hope to reach my 9 class goal by the 6 month update. but the future will only tell us. So yes, there will be a volume 2 to this series at the 6 month point. Until then, wish me luck and I wish you luck in your studies.